Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we got some mail. Mail time. <laughs> I guess I, I don't do mail time, so um, this is going to be a little different. Let me give you the background really quickly. For you folks that don't know, I uh, run a Facebook uh, Model 3 group for Canadians. And um, I have lots of uh, members there and we have a good time. It's a very good group. It doesn't have politics involved. It doesn't have any kind of crap. It's well mo moderated and stuff like that. So if you haven't seen it, I'll actually li leave a link down in the description below if you have a Facebook account. Uh, come and join. It's lots of fun and uh, very informative and very helpful. Uh, that's the main reason I got it for helpfulness and, and to get people informed about the Model 3 and you know, Teslas in general. Anyways, so I'll also let you know that I don't do much advertisement on that page um, because I don't try to, I don't like to get too caught up in advertising, but every now and then, if you do want to advertise or be a sponsor of the group, you get a hold of me. And these guys here, a company here in the GTA, Greater Toronto Area, called Vinyl Mod, got a hold of me and said, you know what, we'd like to advertise, we're a small little business that just started up here in the GTA and we want to advertise f with you guys. Um, this is what our business model is, this is what we do. And I said, sure, I said, it sounded good on paper and um, I went to the website and basically they make vinyl graphics, which a lot of companies do, but if I can support uh, and help out the small local companies for the place that I live in, I'd like to do that. I said to him, I said, I have no problem having you as a sponsor stuff like that, but I want to make sure your product is well put together and is, you know, a decent product because I don't want you guys to be advertising or sponsoring our group if you have an inferior product. He said, no problem, I'll send you some samples. So full disclosure, these are samples, um, not samples, but uh, promo, I guess you can say. So that's because my address is on that. But anyways, final mod, I got it in the mail. Let's open it up. And first off, when you open it up, you see that it's just, um, oh, the good thing is when they ship it to you, they even tell you, do not bend for the uh, mail carrier stuff. Like that. Not that it'll always work, but you know, it's good to try it. This didn't come bent because they're vinyl graphics. Uh, you don't want them bent. So it comes in this hard cardboard that sort of protects it first off, first and foremost. Opening it up, I asked, uh, oh, before I go any further, um, if you look at the website, there are tons of colors that you can choose from. Any color under the sun almost you can choose from. So I chose red just because it stands out a little bit more. I'll be able to see it on the car. But first and foremost, you see that the very first one it has a big F on it. And you're like, what? What's F? Like, there's not nothing F on my car. But what they're doing, and this is ingenious, they're labeling it for you so they don't have to label it on the back or anything. That's for the front logo. Um, that's for the front emblem of your car. So that's for the T, the chrome T that's uh, on mine, it's blacked out. But it tells you, that's the front. Moving on, uh, ST. You think to yourself, what could be ST? Well, that's the steering wheel. Little little one just for the steering wheel. And then, now I, I think you know where I'm going with this. This one is for the rear, the rear emblem. Uh, I don't have a rear emblem, mine says Tesla, but um, if you had one, that's where that would go. Moving along these smaller ones, S. What could S mean? Oh, the side markers. Those little side markers for the autopilot cameras? Well, that's what these are for. Those little uh, markers have little, little um, indented uh, Tesla symbols. That's where these go. Moving on, this looks like an M, but it isn't, it's a W. And you think, what is W for? Well, <laughs> yeah, you, I know you guys are playing a game with me. So W is for wheels, but these guys are so good. Like, I'm not touting them for how good they are, but. It, what I see when I first open a package, the first thing that comes to my mind is you have four wheels, but they send you five. They send you five just in case you make a mistake or something happens, they actually send you an extra one. There's not many companies these days that will actually do that, send you an extra one. And then of course you have the um, alcohol swabs uh, for cleaning your surface before you put them on. They give you, they're pretty generous, they give you eight of them. And then just a little uh, vinyl mod, I guess a little logo that you can maybe advertise, put on your car if you want. This they just throw in there and then this is just like a little welcome letter. Oh, and also instructions, and tells you how to do it, how to go about doing it. It's a little six step uh, instructions. We'll go through that using alcohol, cleaner pads and everything. And that's it, like, that's pretty good folks. I mean, I haven't put it on yet. I'm gonna go put it on, that'll be the next step you see in the video, but so far so good. Um, the presentation and the packaging is uh, well thought out of, well thought out, and um, I like it so far. 
I forget the price. I think the price is $33. I don't know if that's US or Canadian. Uh, their shipping costs are very reasonable. They're incredibly reasonable, so much so that I was told that uh, they ship it for free. Um, like I said, they come in so many different colors. Let's uh, take these right now and um, go put them on, see how easy they are to install. Okay, folks, let's first start with these uh, Sarah caps. The best thing to do is take it off the car because to do it on the car is a little difficult. Use one of these alcohol wipes, clean it down, get all the uh, grime and grease and road debris off and uh, any kind of debris that's on it because it it will adhere best to it if it is off. Then you take the um, vinyl graphic itself, peel it off. It peels off the, the back paper fairly easy. And then it's just lining it up. But if you have it in your hand, as opposed to on the wheel, it's a lot easier to do. Ask me how I know this. Transfer tape is very uh, forgiving. You can take this on and off a bunch of times, almost as many times as you want before you actually get it right. And uh, getting it to line up does take some practice and take does take some time, so uh, be patient with it. If you don't have patience, uh, laying vinyl graphics may not be the best thing for you to do. You may want to get someone to do it if you don't have a an ounce of patience in your body. Gently peel it off. As you can see, there you go. And then you can gently use your finger to make sure the edges are all down and everything. Like I said, this isn't an instructional video. I should have said that off the, off the very beginning, folks. This is not an instructional video. Follow the manufacturer's instructions. I'm just putting this on and I'm just bored as, as I talk. Um, as I'm doing it, I'm talking. But uh, don't follow my instructions. So there you go. The, um, the alignment and the fit and finish is almost perfect. I could have done a little bit better on that edge uh, as opposed to this edge. And that's not the uh, fault of the manufacturer or uh, the company this is more something I did but no that looks pretty good so you repeat this four times <laughs> uh, you know what I just want to show you what it looks like on this I'm going to uh, now do you know what I'll do the steering wheel steering wheel is a nice big one see how that goes and then uh, I'll make my conclusion from there now I found with the um, actual steering wheel one it comes off in two pieces because you got to put the uh, top of the T, the Tesla logo on separately. Take an alcohol wipe and just wipe it down. This wouldn't have road debris or anything like that or grease or grime. But what it will have is maybe some grease. It may actually have grease. And then you begin the tedious pro process of lining this up. And uh, if you're really lucky like me, you may just get it on the first try. Look at that. Now, you don't want to press too hard. Because if you press too hard on this, you're going to honk your horn. That went smooth as butter. Press it down a little bit more. That went uncustomarily well, folks. <laughs> so let's try to put on the top part of the logo and see if that, uh, if my luck continues. Let me bring the camera over here and show it to you. That is, you, you, I mean, you're not gonna get much straighter than that. Um, like I said, uh, if you look at my alignment, my alignment might be off a little bit to this side, a tiny bit, but it's something I can live with. Like I said, I'm just showing you this. I'm just doing this to show you guys what it looks like. Um, and that's the red uh, steering emblem. Okay, folks, I've put it on the front. You can see how uh, the alignment and the fitment is perfect on this. I really, really uh, am impressed. And uh, I have to say, I will ad uh, admit, they've uh, come through and I am... Um, 
highly recommending them. I will recommend them and uh, we'll uh, be able to put something together in the background. I forget what the discount is they're gonna offer. So I, when I remember, I'll put it on the screen here below and I'll also put it in the description below. So check out their website, folks. These guys make it in so many different colors. They actually even have a thing, I was looking at their website, where if you screw it up, they will send you a replacement for free. Like, I mean, that's pretty good customer service and that they're standing behind their product pretty, pretty good. So uh, if you screw it up, because uh, they are a little tedious and you gotta have some patience to put it on. Um, they will actually send you out a new one. Anyways, folks, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. Check them out. They're based out of Toronto. They ship internationally, free shipping, and these guys are the real deal. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.